So let's start off simple and just do a one point perspective drawing of say a city a city block maybe. And you can see I have a basic uh set up here in this program uh which is create which allows me to do things like uh go towards my vanishing point. So we can actually label some of this stuff PVP. And I've also drawn in a horizon. And I can also draw lines that are using these guides parallel to the horizon as they approach the distance. And also perpendicular. So if I wanted to draw this as a box, I could go up. But it's no different than using your ruler. So let's start with just our simple scale, uh, which is a human being. And I don't want this guy to be too big, so but I think he's going to be about that big, right? Really quite small. But the important thing is his head goes through there in our horizon. So there he is. And this is going to serve as our measurement tool for pretty much the entire scene because from here to here is going to be six feet. So if I laid him down flat, maybe uh, he just beat somebody in a fight and here's that other guy lying on the ground. Oh, he punched me. This is also six feet. And we can also assume from here that the viewer, uh, we the viewer, are six feet tall because our eye is, uh, or our uh, the horizon is going to go through anything that is the same height as us. So this guy beat up this other guy. Here's his foot. And we know that this guy is six feet because his head goes through the horizon. In the same way that we know that over here he's holding the hand of, say, a small child. And this small child is standing at uh, the same distance as this guy is also six feet. Or, um, because they're the same distance on this x-axis, we can measure them against each other. So this guy is six feet, therefore this kid is three feet. So, with that as our basis, let's draw some stuff. So let's start by saying, perhaps, that this guy, these two guys, are maybe fighting on a sidewalk. Now I know that this is six feet, so the sidewalk is maybe over here. So maybe they're actually standing on the grass. So if this is six feet from here to here, I want to assume that from here to here is six feet, which is about the length of a sidewalk. And that's going to uh, explain where we end up putting our sidewalk. Now if we wanted, we could start actually uh, putting in, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to start putting in some basic measurements. So, actually, you know what? I can see from here that if that's six feet, and about there is also six feet. So I think this sidewalk is a little too long. Let's go like that.
Now let's say right around here where this walkway is, we also want to have like a little path that leads towards a building. Uh, so if this is our building line, So I would say about there, notice that from here to here, if I go up, this is about a perfect square. So I can reasonably assume that this is about uh, six feet of a walkway. And based on that, I can put a walkway right there. I don't care necessarily how much, how far this is. Uh, we can figure that stuff out later. Uh, but it's always useful to know how you can get a sense of scale off of things. Very similarly, this person is six feet. They need to be able to walk through any doorway, right? So about here is where we're going to have a seven-foot door. And you can see like it's starting to have trouble uh, deciding between whether this is going towards the principal vanishing point or whether it's uh, a parallel line. But something like that, I think, is going to be correct. And I didn't just throw a door in there. I understood it as A, something that's going to use one point perspective, and B, something that also is going to have an accurate sense of scale. So there's our door on a building. Now, how tall is this building? Well, if that's a seven-foot door, and about there, I would say, is a single story of this building. And similarly, how tall is a window? Well, it's going to be about, I mean, just look around to whatever room you're in. It's probably going to be something like the height of the door, but starting a little lower. I'm actually going to turn off that parallel line one. I can do a little clean up. So again, if you're drawing this with paper and pencil, the main thing you need to know is just start off light and get all these guides in because you can always go in afterwards once you have your uh, your guides and clean it up in post. What if we want a small alleyway and then maybe around here another building starts? Well, maybe this one's taller. And this right here would 
being in one point perspective, it's going to start having something like that. Now what if we wanted to put, say, a roof on this? Well, let's do it the smart way and actually get the exact middle of this roof. Uh, we don't have to go crazy to get some useful perspective information. We can just cut the diagonal on this and it'll tell us the exact midpoint. Oops. Uh, there it is. And from there to there, therefore, this is going to be the exact middle of this. Now maybe further back from here. Maybe there's like a path. I mean it's fun because you can start using your creativity and just design any sort of environment and it'll end up looking pretty realistic as long as you're constantly obeying the rules of perspective and also checking your sense of scale. So maybe this guy back here, I think we'll contrast this by having a road, uh, and then over here we'll have something with some more natural elements like trees and stuff. But for this, let's make a tall building. So if this is 6 feet, then that's 12 feet. Because again, anything from the ground to the horizon is going to be measured based off of our default object of this person. So from there to there is 6 feet. So that's about 12 feet, a.k.a. one floor. So about there is two stories. Therefore, about this is a three-story building, I want to say. One, two, three. And this side of the building is going to go back about that far. About that far. And just like how if you're drawing lightly in pencil, you can erase guides afterwards. Or also I recommend color erase pencils. You can go in and clean this up. What if we want to have something like a row of hmm. 
evenly spaced windows going along here, maybe. Uh, we can use a set of guides to get to that point using cut diagonals. Uh oh. Oh no, is it crashing? I think it's crashing. I'll see if it's saved. <laughs> 